This short presentation will explain how tooling may affect the way you design things to be cut on the CNC router and how to nest and strategize the file before toolpathing. All of the main tooling that is available via the automatic tool changer is listed on the chart on the wall behind the CNC router. There are more tools available, so if the type of tool you think you need is not listed on the wall, then discuss what you want to achieve with the workshop technicians, as they may have a tool that can be swapped into the tool changer, or alternatively, they can order a tool specially for your job. By and large, operators will not have access to the automatic tool changer. Swapping out and maintaining tools is the task of the workshop technicians. This slide shows some of the more common tooling options. The first three tools or bits have a flat bottom flange which is designed more for plunging and cutting, whereas the tool on the far right has a rounded base that is used more for three-dimensional milling operations. The three cutting tools on the left are the ones mostly used for cutting plywood, typically 7 to 21 millimeters thick. The 12.7mm finishing spiral and the 8mm rougher are the ones used for most everyday cutting. The 3.175mm and 4mm diameter tools are used for detail work or when cutting thinner stock, say 4 to 7mm thick plywood. When setting up your files, you will need to space the shapes apart a minimum distance so that there is a bit of waste sheet to hold the parts to the CNC table. Choosing the correct di diameter of tool before you nest or arrange your shapes on your CAD file is quite important. If you are uncertain which tool to use for your cut, ask the workshop technicians for advice. On this final slide, there are a range of specialty cutters. Some of these tools especially the surface planer, cannot fit inside the automatic tool changer, so it will have to be changed manually. If you end up needing to use the surface planer, you will need to discuss it first with the workshop technicians and have them on hand to make the manual change for you. The engraver is useful for labelling your parts or to make detailed edges on smaller milled models. Be mindful when creating too much geometry using the engraver, as this will significantly increase your cutting times. Often it is far quicker to write the part names on your job with a pencil at the end of the cut. The V-cutter is a useful tool for materials that can be folded. The V-cutter can cut through aluminium or a Luca bond and enable you to crease and fold the material into complex 3D shapes. At the end, some design decisions are contingent on the tooling used. Exploring the possibility of tooling can expand your design repertoire and enable you to extend the capacity of materials and form making. Discuss your ideas with the workshop technicians who will be able to advise you how a special cutter may assist you with your design idea.